John, a nil nil draw here today at Salford City. Your thoughts on the game, firstly? Was it a game? It was more like uh, we knew it was going to be hard, knew it was going to be a battle. Um, I would say one of the worst games of football I've ever been involved, but also one of the most satisfying. We never rolled over. Forced into two changes, Josh Doherty suspended and Bez out with, a, with, a, with an injury. But the two that came in, Manny for his debut and David Cissé. As I keep saying, we are what we are. You can't, we can't, we've got no one else to come in. All the squad that's come in have done brilliant. Everyone's been given opportunity. And as I keep saying, it's not all about shape. It's all about who's got the most heart and who can stick with it. And they're a tough side, Salford. Um, I thought the officials didn't help both teams, to be honest. I thought they was absolute, well, I'd better not say too much, but to me, they was just ridiculous. You mentioned the heart and desire. It was, as you mentioned, it was one of those games, really. You just had to keep plugging away. And... Yeah, but as we've said from day one, without that, it doesn't matter what team you're in, you've got to have that to, to win things. If you haven't got that, you're going to get beat every week. Um, and, and where we are at the moment, that's getting us through because that's that's the minimum you expect. Um, and, and, you know, Salford played the way they play and good luck to them. Um, and we've got to stand up to that. We're still learning. We haven't, you know, me and Lee's come in here and we're still learning what our team's about. You know, we've only been this, I think, what, two and a half months now and it feels like I've been here since Nelson was a cabin boy, you know. And uh, it's, it, listen, it's great to be involved. It's great to come to these places. But I must say, and I keep saying it, the stand of officials to me, they, they could have, there could have been things out there that was happening. And I know I get carried away and everybody gets carried away. And it's very easy to criticise, but you see things going, which I enjoy about these levels, the tackles and everything, but there's certain things that the officials, that, I don't know what they're, whether it's coming to Salford and they're all a little bit frightened, they're getting told off on the telly or something, but it's ridiculous. There was a flashpoint in that the second half tackle on Dacus Collie just in front of the dugout was the referee obviously branched the yellow was well the ref the ref you? did not know who to talk to who to ask he asked every person on there and they all give him different opinions and listen I'm not trying to get the boy sent off but that was the leg that Cog has done before when he was out for eight, 18 months I think it was nine months and I think the lad was very very lucky to stay on I'm not saying that he meant to do it or whatever the pitch didn't help because the ball bobbles but when the fault officials are then going to book David Cissé and they said that he was stopping him on goal and it was intent of, well, what's worse, that was David C. So I'm not saying that one, what, two wrongs don't make a right, but let's have a little bit of clarity in it. If everybody could see that, and then you go and get two other, their boys get booked, their boys get booked, because all right, it's all handbags at dawn. But that, that was, and, and that was just the inconsistencies. And it's easy for, it's not me being sour grapes, but I, I, it'd be interesting to see what other teams come here and do get things against them. That's all I will say. Looking ahead on to Tuesday night, it's another trip up to this part of the country. Crew, I think they got a 97th minute winner today against Oldham. But as you've mentioned before, every game's a tough game, and we'll just be looking to go there and put a performance out on the pitch. Listen, we're going out there, get a team on the pitch, it'll be helpful. Um, yeah, we're like the walking wounded, but then the same as all the rest of the league. And I keep saying it, it's a compliment to the boys, it's a compliment to Joel and the fitness people that have kept the lads going, but they're buying into things there. They don't like getting beat anymore, which nobody does. Stupid statement, but it's a fact. And today was a different game to what we've been playing, and it's a different game you've got to come through. And just finally from us, a crowd of here, a crowd here of just over 2,000 with nearly 300 Crawley fans. It was great travel and support, and just a shame we couldn't nick it for them at the end. Well, to be fair, I didn't know that there was only 300, uh, 300, 300 Crawley fans here because Salford fans, I didn't hear, to be honest with you, it was Crawley fans, all I could do, they got behind and they carried us through. Um, it's so good when you come to these places and you shut the crowd up first and foremost. Um, and they're football people up here, they're passionate about their football, but all I say is our, our lads out sung them, uh, I would no doubt they'll out drink them tonight and they'll have a good night, so good luck to them.